y'all. I don't think y'all ready for me. It's the lovely sweet tea on the mother freaking scene, y'all. Let's get into it. Your girl is here. What's up, everybody? It's the lovely sweet tea, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, I'm here to do a prep talk. I want to let you guys know that you are beautiful. And don't let nobody tell you different. And I'm not just talking about outwardly. You are beautiful inwardly. Unless you got like a bad attitude and uh, you just be cursing people out and acting wild all the time. And you're known around the neighborhood to be a bad person. Then if you're that type of person, I'm not talking to you. But I'm talking for the individuals, talking about the individuals who are just, who has the nicest, greatest attitude ever, who believes in loving, being a loving person, a caring person, who believes in helping others, who believes in, you know, like um, taking care of their families and their loved ones. And even their neighbors, like um, as far as if they need something, you give it to them. You're the type of person that'll give them your clothes off your back. You know what I'm saying? You go the extra mile to help anyone. You know what I'm saying? You're not a gossiping person. You know what I'm saying? You're not one that try to uh, belittle people or drag them down. Um, nothing like that. You're just um, a great person and a great personality and a wonderful person to be around. Those are the type of people I'm talking about. And it's very beneficial in this life to have that type of person around. When I tell you, it can be a blessing to others. And if you are not that type of person, why don't you work on yourself? Um, strive to be a beautiful individual, not just outwardly, but inwardly. Um, try to make a difference in this lifetime. Try to make a difference in people's lives. Try to do the best you can. If you have a lot, give a lot. You know what I'm saying? In the Bible, it's a blessing to give. So be a giving person. Be a for forgiving person. You know, um, a lot of times people step on our toes, you know, and do some of the illest and craziest and baddest things to us. But um, as time go by, we just got to learn to forgive and forget. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to try to get vengeance on those people. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the Bible, it says vengeance is mine, meaning vengeance is the Lord's, you know? So we can't be around here plotting and planning to get them back for what they did to us. We just got to let it go. You know, you know what I'm saying? No matter how much it hurt you, you just got to let it go. Just leave it alone. You know, we got to let our light shine. And it's nothing like a beautiful person in this world who is um, just making a difference in this world. You know, we got some stars out there, too, who like Cardi B, for instance. Now, she's making a whole lot of money. You feel me? She's a rapper. But she's she's doing charity. She gives to the community. She goes out and she speaks and she gives. She writes big old fat checks and she gives to the schools and um, different organizations and um, hospitals and all that. So what we see, all we see of her is in the media that she's rapping. We see her in all these elegant, nice uh, fly videos and stuff like that but behind the scenes your girl is doing a lot cardi b she has a, a a good spirit in her she's even though we've seen her like on love and hip-hop leashing out at people and everything but she was in that type of setting wherein she had to do what she had to do you know what i'm saying um certain people bought that madness out of her but for the most part um behind the scenes she's doing good and we have a lot of uh, stars that are doing good, you know, and we just can't see it, you know what I'm saying? But we can see it though, um, if we look it up, you know what I'm saying? We got to look up certain names in social media and see what they have done for the community or for others. But for the most part, as far as us as individuals, we have got to be like 
loving and caring. You know what I'm saying? Because people need it. You never know what somebody is going through in their lives. Like it's so much going down in this world and it's hard to keep up with. You know what I'm saying? It's like so much negativity and a lot of us are struggling. So we really be needing a shoulder to lean on somebody to talk to. So you guys, you be like that too. Like if you, um, you got to be like, um, caring and, um, visual about your family members, try to, you know, check on them and see what's going on in their lives. You know, even towards your mom, your, your dad, your, your, um, cousins, whatever, aunties, you know, uh, call and check up on them and just see how they doing mentally and physically. You know what I'm saying? Don't just keep to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, go through life like ignoring your loved ones because it's very important. Um, you just never know uh, what change or, or how you can affect their lives positively when you reach out to them. So, you know, reach out to your family like... <laughs> I know I did. When my mom and my grandmother was living, I reached out to them. You feel me? I always checked on them. You know what I'm talking about? And I said all kinds of positive things that I could to them. And I helped them in so many ways. Helped them in every way that I could. You know, I listened to their every cry, um, every complaint. I made sure I took them where they had to go. Doctor's appointments. Um, to go pay their bills. I wasn't like no um, stubborn um, stuck up, you know, type of person to my family. It was so beneficial to me to see them get where they had to go because I had the car. You know what I'm talking about? But you know, as far as two, and they have passed away too, and I love them so much. Rest in peace, mom, and rest in peace, grandma. I love y'all so much forever, forever more. But you know, I got a big heart for the homeless people. And what I'm speaking to you is basically me. I'm a loving person, a very, a very caring person. And um, I believe, believe in trying to do for others. You know what I'm saying? I don't have much, but you know, I try to make a difference in this world. You feel me? And, and that is very important to me. Um, and my heart just goes out to people in general. Sometimes I run into people and they just tell me their problems and you know, you be thinking that you going through it, but they going through it worse than you are. And the stories I have heard blow me away. I'm like, what? And I tell them right then, wow, I thought I had it bad, but you got it even worse. You know what I'm talking about? And then I, you know, I say encouraging things and say what I can to make a difference to them. You know what I'm saying? Be trying to tell them to keep their head up and it's going to get better for them. And get them some encouraging words about praying to the Lord because the Lord is a miracle worker. And uh, he can work things out for you. You know what I'm saying? So, And a lot of people, they probably don't even think that way or not. But it's, it's up to us to, you know, say everything we can to help these people out and then keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, but some people out there, they are they will hurt your feelings so bad, family or not. They will talk down on you or talk to you like a dog. And you being the loving person that you are, you be like so shocked and so hurt deep inside. If you guys have encountered that too, don't worry about it. Keep it moving because karma will come back to get them. You know, you know what I'm saying? And as the world turns you know, they get what's coming for them. And then you never know down the line, they may reach out to you and apologize and stuff like that. And if they don't, don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. But it's surprising too, when people hurt you, they don't even try to reach out and apologize. Because one thing I do know, we are not perfect and we are going to make mistakes and do wrong things. And I think we should recognize that right away and think about that person's uh, feelings and, and apologize to them. And, you know, that's that's being an upstanding um, citizen and individual. For the most part, you know, just live your life to the fullest for one thing. And let your light shine. Uh, that's what the Bible says. Um, we're supposed to let our light shine. So we're supposed to be good, upstanding individuals and people in this world and make a difference and love, you know, one another and uh, love our neighbors as yourselves. It says that in the Bible as well. And just be there for people. You know what I'm saying? And just reach out as much as you can. Don't keep all that that you have to yourself. Do what you can. And you don't even have to have physical things 
you can have mental things to offer people. You know what I'm saying? So just do do your best and uh, smile and uh, let your light shine. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just um, you should have like a good reputation. Um, if you don't have a good reputation, work on it. Work on yourself. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you, you feel like you don't like what you are, work on yourself. If you feel like you know you be doing people wrong or you know you got a bad attitude or you know you got anger issues, um, work on yourself. And also, if you think that you can't work on yourself, just pray about it. Ask the Lord to change you. You know, very frequently say that. Change me, Lord. You know, change my attitude. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord would do it. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to come and talk to you guys um, and tell you you are beautiful in and out. And if you are not that type of person that I'm speaking of, work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to leave a bad taste in people's mouth. You don't want to leave hurt in people's heart. You don't want to infuriate people. Because there's a lot of people out there that will lash out and do something to you just because of the person you are. It's dangerous in this world. So to have a bad attitude and, 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 and be showing people all this um, anger... And be saying some of the darnest things to people. Watch out now. Because this world is crazy. There's some crazy people in this world that will lash out. And I'm saying if you're one of them people too that are the lash out person. Don't do it. Whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Don't do not do that. Don't do nothing illimatic. Don't do nothing crazy. Let them have that. You know you need your freedom. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? That person that they're just not right. Walk away from all bad circumstances that you can you know what i'm saying so i just hope you guys like the video it's the lovely sweet tea here and uh, be sure to comment like and subscribe hit the bell notification button for when your girl do what drop them bangers and that's on everything that i love y'all be sweet y'all make a difference in life with people you know what i'm saying and you are beautiful inside and i'll always know that and I'm out. Bye, you guys. Until the next time.